Hi, here we are at the AI Summit in New York. I'm happy to say I've got with me the keynote speaker from this morning, Steve McChrystal, Chief Enterprise and Technology at Unilever. Welcome. Yeah, great to be here. I really appreciate it. So, so your talk was event. absolutely brilliant. Give me a <laughs> quick recap. Um, look, we're just, the, the whole concept was how we kind of focus on critical stakeholders inside of Unilever. That's our consumers, um, the customers that we sell through, our employees, but equally we consider the planet a key stakeholder for us. And so how do we use um, you know, artificial intelligence, mass data to kind of solve real problems for those individual stakeholders? So we kind of looked at each uh, examples of each one of those. So your company is so large, how do you scale all this innovation? Uh, it's, it's, it, it, it's actually probably the biggest challenge. Um, we have over 400 brands uh, operate across 190 countries around the world, so a big challenge for us. In fact, I would say about four years ago, we saw that problem and saw masses of data all over the ecosystem, not really connected, serving individual needs at a customer level or at a finance level or at a supply chain level, and we said we need to do something different, and, and that difference was kind of creating a data as a platform approach, bringing everything together into one, um, and using that as an opportunity to take that integrated data to help solve real problems because there's not one stakeholder in our ecosystem that doesn't need all to come together. You know, rarely does one individual silo of data solve a real problem. So how do you assure the quality of all that data? You know, actually, this program has helped improve quality of data and, we, and I can't say that it's all perfect for sure, um, but by bringing it all together, we actually specifically measure quality. So we have teams set up that as they bring data in, they do loads of testing. Uh, we use some machine learning to do testing, but also equally, they manually test. Uh, through the course of the last year and a half, we've had a 30% improvement in quality, so we're feeling really confident about that now. But the, the kind of the critical thing here is that you have to engage the user community in the right way and get feedback real time. Because you'll know the moment things aren't right, you'll hear it loudly if you're listening. So the trick is to listen to that. I know you mentioned that in your talk, I actually caught that. That was, that was very interesting because a lot of people, are, a lot of companies are capturing data and they end up with simply a lot of data. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's bit, I mean look, for us too. Uh, we probably have overdone it at times as well. I would say, Equally, you know, today, when we look at all the data that we ingest, and we ingest a lot of data today, we're kind of wrangling around more than a petabyte of data at any moment. We're constantly, constantly looking at things to reduce from the ecosystem, actually. Things that aren't actually adding any value, we're not getting a lot of insight from, can we reduce? And so we're constantly turning things off if we can. So how do you deal with, with the people issues? Because you have so many people, obviously, uh, in, internal and external, yeah. uh, in terms of just the, the, the education to keep up with the technology. It's, it's, re it's really hard, but interestingly, I think the ecosystem of people who play in data, you know, they're natural learners, almost in a way. I think you have to put a program around it. You have to make it a little bit of an employee program, certainly internally. In other words, we put together, you know, sort of regimented schedules of here's the kind of things that you want to do to sort of build up your data analytics skill, your data engineering skill, your data science skill. At each one of those, uh, kind of uh, I you know, individual focus areas, we have different tiers that you can achieve. People love that. They love being recognized for the fact that they've moved up the data science tier. Um, so we, we try to put a lot of energy around that. I think the cool piece that we've been exploring now is, is partnerships with some of our key suppliers. So we put some of their folks to do our training and we do it vice versa. Um, because you know, we know what we know in Unilever, but there's a big world out there, so we need to learn what others know and try to bring, you know, kind of integrate that into our thinking. So a year from now, we're sitting here having this conversation, what will we be talking about? Ah, uh, well, you know, we've, we've really pushed hard on the concept of twinning of things, digital twins. Um, we've done it really well in a context of one manufacturing site. Uh, but our supply chain is enormous, and the real problems in the world are oriented around the large supply chain that we have. So we have to go from individual manufacturing site to a supply chain level, and imagine a digital twin of our supply chain, what that could unlock for us. So that's really I where we imagine. have to be going. <laughs> uh, it's the challenge that we have, how could we, how could we pull that off? And then you can model and do different things and understand how you can really impact carbon net, you know, carbon net zero rulings. You know, th there's, there's so much you could do with that, uh, which would really marry nicely against our sustainable living plan. Well, I look forward to that conversation in a year. Th Sounds thank you great. so much. My pleasure, <laughs> good to see you.